Chapter 10, International Business Across Cultures. In Chapter 9, we looked at finding and choosing appropriate partners, whether sales agents or distributors, for direct exporting. In this chapter, we'll examine the minefield of cultural considerations in international business. Since I started out by referring to culture as a minefield, let me start with an illustration. Here's a company with which you are probably quite familiar, set in a country with which you are most likely less familiar. The company is IKEA, maker of affordable, often self-assembled furniture. Most college students have at least one IKEA bookshelf or dresser. The country depicted is Saudi Arabia. Saudi Arabia follows an extreme form of Islam known as Wahhabism. Here you see a list of restrictions listed in a recent article in the news magazine, The Week. For details, please see the full article by clicking on the hyperlink. I would like to add to the list the restriction of traveling without the consent of a male guardian. So given the myriad restrictions on women in Saudi Arabia, especially the prohibition against showing off their beauty, how should a company selling in that market depict women in their advertising? Well, here is how IKEA addressed the issue in their 2012 catalog for Saudi Arabia. This is the Swedish version and whoop, this is the Saudi version. They simply airbrushed the women out of the photos. Problem solved, right? Please share your opinion in the poll that I've linked to the course website. So right now, if you can stop the video and take the poll and then come back to us. Reaction in the U.S. and Sweden, IKEA's home country, was swift and fierce. Please take a look at the CBS News coverage of the airbrushing. Reaction in IKEA's home country of Sweden was equally harsh. Swedish Trade Minister Ua Borling lamented to Sweden's Metro newspaper, quote, You can't delete women from society, 